Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we know what is an algebraic expression, let's learn about the parts of an algebraic expression. Well, when you talk about the parts of an expression, they are very similar to the com compartments in a train, like different compartments together join to form the entire train. So in a similar way, these parts of the algebraic expression, they are formed separately first and then all these separate parts are just like the separate compartments which are added together to form the algebraic expression. So that gives you some rough idea about what do I mean by parts of an algebraic expression. So let's take an example and understand the same. So we will now take examples of some algebraic expressions. So let, let's say 4y cube plus 3. So do you think this is an algebraic expression? Yes, of course, because it has constants like 4 and 3. It has variables like y and it also has operators like the addition and multiplication. Okay, so this is a uh, algebraic expression. Now, when I talk about the terms of this algebraic expression, so you see what are the compartments of the strain? One compartment is 4y cube, the other compartment is 3. So these two compartments are joined together to form 4y cube plus 3. So we can say that 4y cube is a term. Similarly, 3 is another term. So this algebraic expression has two terms. Let's look at another example. Uh, let's say a square plus b square. So how many terms are there? So again two terms. One term is a square. The second term is b square. Okay. Uh, let's talk about something else. Let's say you have something like 10x. So do you think 10x is an algebraic expression? Yes, of course. 10x is 10 into x. So in this case, how many terms are there in the expression? So there is just one term, which is 10x. Now, please do not say that 10 is one term and x is another term because 10 and x are not getting added here. 10 and x are multiplied. So they form one term. So only those terms which get added, they are like parts of the algebraic expression. So each part of this algebraic expression is called a term. So this here also a square is a term, b square is a term. In this case, this expression has only one term and that is 10x. Let's take some more examples. Let's suppose you have an expression like this 3x minus 9 divided by 2. So how many terms do you have? Do you have here? How many parts do you have here? Okay, in this case, to understand it like when you look at this expression in this form it looks quite complicated you might feel that okay this entire thing is one term but actually it is not because 3x minus 9 by 2 can be very well written as 3x by 2 minus 9 by 2 so both are the same things right so now looking at this you can very easily identify how many terms are there so the first term is 3x by 2 the second term is minus 9 by 2 why so you might ask that here the two terms are not getting added but basically Basically, when you have a minus sign that actually means adding the additive inverse of it so this basically means plus 3x by 2 plus minus 9 by 2 so this is what it actually means so 3x by 2 is one term and minus 9 by 2 is another term so in this fashion we can determine the terms in an algebraic expression Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.